Joanna here. Today we want to define our waistline and add more curves to our body. If you have an athletic body type or a H frame, just like Hayden Panettiere, then you are more likely to have broad shoulders, a strong back, and a less curvy waistline. So we want to focus on a lot of rotation exercises to tighten the mid section, which can help to define your waistline. We want to focus on high repetitions and avoid using heavy weights, which may add more bulge to your waistline. So start with a quick warm-up and let's start twisting those hips. So each exercise will last 30 seconds and let's start with one of the best core workout which is bicycle crunches. Okay, so lie on your back, get ready, legs up and twist, good. So look up to avoid neck pain and really bring your knees to your elbows, good. Keep twisting, you should feel your lower abs working your upper abs and also your obliques, which is your waistline. Good, keep going. 10 more seconds. And the second workout is double leg circles. Ready? Straight into it. Lift your legs up and make a circle clockwise, okay? The lower you bring your legs, the more you will feel on your lower abs. Good. Five more seconds and we will change side. Good, change side. Let's go, bring it up. Keep your legs as straight as possible. Only go as low as you can without arching your back. Next workout, oblique crunches. So bring your body up, extend your arms, legs straight, and just try to slide your hands along your legs and feel your right side of your oblique working. So your arms should only be supporting you and not helping you to lift your body up. Good. Keep going, feel the right side. And after this, we want to work on the left side. One more. Good, and switch over. Let's go. Crunch up. Good. Up, reach. Nice. So remember your arms should only support your body and not pushing off the floor. You really want to lift your legs up and crunch all the way up. Nice. And the final core workout is mountain climber. We want to add some cardio in. So up and let's go. Straight body. Give me 30 seconds of mountain climber. Adding some cardio will help to burn fat off the waistline as well. Good. Keep going. Straight back. Look straight ahead. And then you will get your 30 seconds rest. Keep going. Keep climbing as fast as you can. One more. And rest. And we want to repeat this entire circuit once more. All right? So let's start with bicycle crunches again. Lie down on the floor. Get ready. You have 10 more seconds rest. Go through each workout without resting. Okay, so bicycle crunches. Lift your legs up. Keep challenging yourself each time. Go, crunch, look up. Okay, really aim to lift your shoulders off the floor and not your neck. So just gently support your neck without pulling your neck. Good. Keep twisting. Nice. So bring your leg as low as you can without arching your lower back and just place your breathing out. Next, double leg circles. Up, let's go clockwise. Nice, good. Very good, feel your lower abs working, as low as you can, all right, and now switch over, anti-clockwise, good, really tighten your core in order to tighten the mid section, and oblique crunches right now, 
So your legs, clench up. Again, slide your arms just along your feet and lift your legs up. You should feel the right side of your oblique working. Okay, as much as you can, small crunches, but you will feel this section working. Good. Few more. Breathe out. And let's swap over. Arms out. Ready? Go. Extend. Up. Nice. Really crunch it. Woo! Good job. Woo! Breathe out. Few more. And just use your right arm to support yourself. Good. Keep feeling your left obliques working. And right after this, the dreaded mountain climber. Let's go. Up on your feet and go. Good. Look straight ahead. Keep your body upright and really push and give me all you can. Nice. This is your one workout and you get a full one minute rest. So keep climbing. Keep going. Good. Come on, bring your knees in. Feel your abs working. Five more seconds. Keep crunching. And rest and just relax. Right, now you have a full one minute break because we want to move on to our second round where we will be working on a lot of plants. So take this time to stretch your body out, relax, drink some water and get ready for a lot of plants to really tighten those mid sections, okay? more seconds the first workout we want to start with spider-man plank the hardest variation will be reaching out and crunching in balance yourself and crunch in if this is tough just put your arms on the floor and just crunch in okay so choose a variation let's go reach up crunch in out and in so this requires a lot of balance which requires you to work more on your core at the same time you are working on the side of your oblique good Few more, one more, and let's change side. Reach out, crunch, out, crunch. You will find one side is less balanced, which is my left side. Crunch, out, and crunch. Good. One more, and now let's go to cross plank. Left knee to right elbows, okay? Cross plank, good. So really crunch, and try to bring your knees close to your elbows. Nice, keep going. Crunch, opposite side, twist your oblique, rotate those hips, keep your butt down, so do not bring your butt too high up. Few more, and we want to work on side plank. So get onto your right side, bring your knees, legs up, okay, on your shoulders, drop your hips, lift it up, drop your hips, lift it up, and just drop, squeeze the side of your waistline, okay? Good. The next one, we want to work on the left side. Okay, if this is difficult beginners, you can start on your knees. And let's change up, okay, and drop your waist. Okay, you can always start on your elbows as well with this variation, which will make it easier if you want to add it to make it more challenging then go onto the palms of your hand 10 more seconds and we want to add some plank plyo into the workout right so onto your hands and i want you to jump in out in and out okay that's it so plyo to your plank so you are working on your hips and also the side of your waist. In, I'm trying not to step on my phone. Good, 10 more seconds. In, in, good. Last few more, keep going, stay strong. One more, and just 
rest it out. 30 seconds rest. We want to repeat this entire circuit once more. All right, so let's start with Spider-Man plank and you can choose which variation you want to work with. Let me just put my phone slightly further away. Right, let's go. Get into Spider-Man plank. Ready? Reach out and crunch in. Good, out and in. Tighten your core to balance yourself. Nice. Keep crunching. Crunch. Reach. One more. And change side. Reach. Right. I got to really tighten my core to balance myself on my left side. And the next workout, straight into cross plank. Let's go. Cross plank. Knees to elbows. Opposite side. Good. Really twist. Rotate those hips and reach. The further you reach, the more you will crunch. Doing good. Aim to relax your shoulders, so not too much tension on your shoulders. Keep crossing. Last two more. Good. Side plank. Okay, harder variation. Get onto the palms of your hand. Drop your hips. Crunch it up. Very, very nice. Drop your hips, crunch. Look straight ahead to find your balance. Drop and really push all the way up. So not a little bit. Go a high, as high as you can. Up. One more. Good. Switch over. Let's go. Up onto the palms of your hand. Balance yourself. Down and up. Nice. Can I see those smiles? Good. Woo. You are almost at the end of your workout. So stay strong. And we have one more plyo plank. Drop, squeeze up. Drop, squeeze up. A few more. One more. And let's get straight into plyo plank. Jump. Okay? Jump. Good. Let's go. Keep going. Give me all your energy. Good. You're halfway there. Keep going. Jump. A little bit of cardio will do you a lot of good. Keep going. 10 more seconds. Woo. Breathe out. Few more. One more. And just relax. Breathe it out and just relax. You're done. Well done. So to challenge yourself, repeat this entire video once more and aim to do this workout two to three times weekly. For best result, combine this exercise together with your regular cardio and strength training. For athletic body shapes, you can combine this workout together with my exercises for apple body shapes, which will help to tone up on your upper body, which means less broad shoulders and back, and to increase more lean muscles into your lower body, which can help to define your waistline even more. All the best! For new fitness, food and motivational videos, please like, share and subscribe to my YouTube channel and website. Do follow me on Facebook, Instagram and Twitter to stay connected with me. Thanks guys!